My name is Virtue, I am a science teacher. I will be glad if you subscribe to my channel. The minimum stimulus intensity that causes an impulse in any nerve cell is called the threshold intensity. Warnings lower than the threshold intensity do not cause impulses. The stimulus generated by the threshold stimuli in the nerve cells and the stimulus that is much higher than the threshold are also carried at the same rate. The reason why the impulse conduction velocity in a nerve cell is always the same is that the energy required for impulse transmission is obtained from the nerve cell, not from the stimulus. Impulse conduction velocity in nerve cells Increasing the mile in sheath and axon diameter located outside the axons increases. Impulse conduction in nerve cells causes electrical and chemical changes in the cells. Therefore, impulse conduction is an electrochemical event. The membranes of normal nerve cells in resting state are electrically charged. The fact that the outer parts, plus, and inner parts of the nerve cells in the resting period are loaded with, is called polarization. When the nerve cells are stimulated, nions outside the cell membrane pass into the cell. In this case, extracellular negative, dash, intracellular positive, plus, load is loaded and this is called depolarization. A second stimulus is not transmitted in depolarized nerve cells. In order for a new stimulus to be transmitted from the nerve cells, the cells must be restored. Impulse conduction in nerve cells always begins at the dendritic end of the nerve cell and ends at the axon end. Nerve cells breathe only with oxygen and use only glucose in cellular respiration. In neurons that carry out excitation conduction, ATP expenditure increases. ATP production increases. The amount of glucose decreases. The amount of carbon dioxide increases, so the pH decreases. Oxygen consumption is accelerated. The heat increases. The amount of water increases. Thank you for listening to me.